Up until August this year, the three candidates vying for the position of AU Commission Chairperson were Spesizio Kazibwe, a former Ugandan Vice President, Botswana's current Foreign Minister, Pelonomi Moitoi, and Agapitomba, Equatorial Guinea's Foreign Minister. Commission. However, during the elections in Kigali in July, neither of the three were able to marshal enough support. Each member state has a vote, and you're supposed to garner two-thirds majority of the vote in order to become the AU chair. What we find is none of the candidates who were in Kigali got it, so it was suspended. The vote was postponed to January 2017. Then, in early October, Kenya's president introduced a new entry into the race. In recognition of our obligation and commitment to support the African agenda, I am proud to offer Ambassador Amina Mohammed for the position of chairperson of the African Union Commission. This was followed by the withdrawal of Uganda's candidate. We would have an impact. Amina Mohammed's nomination is not surprising, given that she is the most high-profile cabinet minister in Kenya, currently serving as foreign secretary. The 55-year-old diplomat has a distinguished career, having held positions with multiple global agencies. She was single-handedly responsible for marshalling the continent against the International Criminal Court in 2015 and was instrumental in organizing the World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference in Kenya, the first time an African country had hosted the event. Experts say Kenya's president is laying the foundation for his pan-African vision. He's also been able to set the agenda and show uh, that uh, in, when it comes to diplomacy and international relations, he, he has really uh, gone up the scales. Now, correct to that is Amina, who is the person who has been responsible for a lot of the success that Uhuru has had from the ICC case to current. And so I think his nomination of her is, is cause he is losing the best, probably the best cabinet secretary who he probably would probably want to have. So even giving her over to the AU is a symbol of his agenda in pushing this Pan-Africanism. If Mohammed does win, many believe one of the first actions as AU Commission Chair will be to push for a permanent African seat on the UN Security Council. Security and sustainable development will also be on the cards. Apart from a two-thirds majority, there will be certain criteria that the candidates will have to fulfill, among them education background, leadership qualities and achievements. On paper, Amina Mohammed appears to have the upper hand, but that's not how this contest will be won. Intense lobbying and diplomacy will carry the day, areas she is well versed on. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.